yep, another day here at the shop and the van is progressing more and more as the days go by. Seems like a quiet morning here, but it's not. Mr. Chris is over there working and uh, Andy's in the paint booth painting up stuff. So let's go check out and see what the boys are doing this morning. Drawers dovetailed. Cruise tail. <laughs> Cruise tail drawers. So impressive. So yesterday they primed the pieces, now this is the final paint coat. Yeah, one or two coats of paint. Just the first coat, we'll get rid of all the lashes, It's naked <laughs> but seeing the van naked is pretty awesome to see the possibilities and opportunities that you could have in this van there's enough room here to build one cabinet up the side there put a little stovetop burner make that your kitchen put a huge recliner chair there kick the feet out pop a TV up here and treat this just like the apartment you live in now if you're the kind of person who just lives in their recliner and then just uses the bathroom and then goes back to the recliner, you could have the same life in a van that you're having now. But it's crazy to see the amount of space that's in here. There's actually so much room in here. For real though, inside of that van, even though it's around 70 square feet, it's really, really big. And until you get into living in a small space like that, that might seem like a small space, but actually my van has a lot of stuff and a lot of room that I don't use. The back of my van is really bad right now because half the insides are now in the back. But I have this entire back seat. Do I dare open that? <laughs> I have this entire back extended section of my van, which ideally is my storage area. So I could do without this whole entire space. We're gonna, sh we're gonna shut that. Maybe I'm the crazy one to say this, but these vans are actually very big. Sure, it would be nice to stand up in my van and not bunk my head or be walking around hunched over all the time, but I am super happy that I live in my short van. Don't pick on my van because it's short. Leave it alone. It's got the length. It just might not be very tall, but I'm happy with it. It is definitely not a deal breaker at all. So if you're a little bit on the worrisome side about how can you move your life into a box that small, when you get into it, that box will actually feel very big. never gonna fall apart. I had a hard time finding a place to store this baby DJ controller that I bought. So this thing's actually been stored in the top back cabinet here and it fits, like I have to put it in the cabinet sideways. It's really awkward. But check this out, completely by fluke. It just pops right in there like it was meant to be. That is hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
chuka chuka. That's funny. <laughs> Totally awesome. Those are my new drawer slides. Woo! So when I shut them, I can get mad all I want. When I slam it, it's gonna be like, oh, it's okay, Chrome, easy now. Pretty awesome to have really good quality hardware put in. This is beyond amazing. Think about that. When I'm having a bad day, I'm like, slam, goes the drawer, and it goes like, easy, it's okay. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Now that this thing is out and not bolted into anything, you can see how much movement there is. Can you guys see that? I'm a little bit worried about what's gonna happen when I take out this bottom drawer because I have a funny feeling the bottom drawer is the structure that's holding this whole thing together. <laughs> that's insane. Can you guys see that? Let me move the camera here. <laughs> and take a look at this. This is a part from inside of there that fell out. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of these things that have rocked themselves loose, which a majority of those aren't even tight. So if you are gonna do the home furnishings, keep in mind to go through and tighten up all these every few months because all of that rocking and rolling on the streets yeah. I removed some of the hardware off of this cabinet because I needed it to screw the three drawers in in the back I needed the front. But when I unscrewed the latch that was on the other side of this one, on this side, it was the latch that was holding this piece together because it had just broken itself apart. So if it wasn't for that latch, these things would have broken a long time ago. Crazy. Look at this. I'm literally taking my hands and breaking something apart. Thanks for wearing your best shirt to work today. No problem. <laughs> Gotta make a good impression. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use your teeth, Chrome. I can see that comment already. Okay, Mom. All right, so we bought these latches from Lee Valley Tools. You know if Lee Valley Tools is like uh, Canada? They're, all over Canada, they're in the yeah. US too? Uh, I don't know if they're in the US. All right, so anyway, we bought these from Lee Valley Tools and I'm confused about this thing. So it's one of these push button latch things. Let's screw this on here. This is the pretty beauty rim piece. So this, when the drawer shut, pushes in and goes semi-flat with the front of the drawer. Then when you want to use it, you push it in, the button comes out, you can pull the drawer out. So we were looking at these things on Amazon and cause these were like probably like, we'll say 20 bucks from, from Buy taxes in. yeah, with taxes and stuff in and fuel to go get there. They're about $20 a piece. When these things on Amazon, you can get for like five, eight bucks, expensive ones, 10 bucks. Some of them, uh, uh, they were like 45 and $50. Yeah. And, uh, so even Lee Valley had these things for like 45 bucks, which was crazy. So, being unsure about doing this, I messaged, um, you remember Rainer and Madison? Um, I had them in a video, they're from Ontario, they do van builds and they're sprinter, they got the trailer behind it. I'll try to remember to throw the, their van tour video at the end, it was a short and sweet one. So I messaged them yesterday because I figured, you know what, they're professionals in, in the industry and I know they install these on a regular. They told me, Chrome, don't buy the Amazon ones, you can if you want, but they're a super high failure rate failure rate yeah yeah they're pieces of crap pretty much what he said the word cheapo was actually in that text message <laughs> as well so if you are going to buy these things you might want to keep that in mind if you're going to buy the amazon ones so you might want to buy like 10 extras per drawer because i guess they fail a lot if anybody wonders where cruise has been hanging out at pretty much all day yesterday and pretty much all day today He's been the boss down there sleeping on the office floor. Chilling hey, like a villain. Hey. Just chilling like a villain. Good boy. 
Um, I'm gonna get them one of those harnesses with the name down the side of it. We're just gonna write quality control or foreman or the boss. He's been in here playing around with my fancy CNC door fronts, but that is gonna be in tomorrow's video. I'll let you back to work. <laughs> hey, Mr. Creative, I got a present for you. Oh, man. That's from Caframo. <laughs> Sweet! Now you can put that in your Chevy van yeah. after you finish building your van up. So after we're doing chromes, I'm gonna do my own. And this puppy is ending up there. I'm gonna do a bed, some drawers, some storage. And you'll see more about that later, but I'm gonna do an entire kit for the back of the Chevy and Ford vans, if you guys are interested. What's going on over here? Fit in the drawers. Mm -hmm. Nice. The design you guys seen on the computer with all the circles in it, this is um, this is the kind of stuff that the CNC machine can cut out. Craziness. But uh, my drawer fronts won't be as elaborate as this piece. But that's what's gonna happen. So the machine's gonna be able to cut out those pieces and when they're out, you're gonna be able to see the white backgrounds on those drawers. But here's another piece that the machine has cut out. So like this here. So the machine has cut these out. I mean, my drawers won't be as thick as this piece, but that's what it'll be like with my drawers on the background so you'll be able to see it through it. Um, pretty excited for getting this stuff done. Whew. Man, all this stuff is looking so good. Since we've seen how fast this breaks, let's see how easy it would be if we rock this thing like 30 times if it would fall apart. All right, here it goes. We say 30 times. Come on. Come on. Didn't even make it 30 times. <laughs> Think about this. I could have been driving down the road somewhere and this whole thing just <laughs> I can't believe this thing. There's another level down. <sighs> Could you imagine rolling down some of the back roads that I cruised? <laughs> All of a sudden, this thing decides to like. It was good while it lasted though. Somebody gonna clean this up? Yeah. Is that my job? <laughs> <laughs> you made the best chrome. <laughs> you clean it up. <sighs> All right. Ooh. This chair is pretty comfy actually. Before we say goodbye to you guys in today's video, um, Let's talk about my home furnishings because I know it looks like in the last couple of videos that they were just garbage and breaking apart and not worth spending the money. Okay, those were in my van for about a year and a half. Look at the life that I've lived on this channel if you look back to where those cabinets went in to where my life is at today. And those cabinets probably would have lasted me maybe another six months or another year, but as you could tell that they were literally falling apart and then I think it's because home furnishings aren't meant to be rocked all the time because your van is constantly on the shake when it's on the move and if you're like me always in the back roads all the time they're gonna last a whole less longer than it did but the life I had in the last year and a half for the $900 that those cabinets cost me way worth it I would happily replace a $900 cabinet every two years if I could continue to have the life that I have so people are like, oh, whatever, it's a waste of money. You probably shouldn't have bought those cabinets anyway. Because I'm moving into my van, buying those cabinets, I had a very cozy, comfortable home, a place that I could travel and call home and enjoy this whole life that I'm living. 
$900 cabinets is less than I would have spent on one month worth of rent. So they were in my van for, what, a year and a half for the cost of three quarters of a month's rent. I don't see that being a waste of money at all. And I think if you guys are seeking out to start, buy plastic cabinets. I am dead serious. Buy plastic cabinets, throw them in your van and get out there and start enjoying the stuff that you're dreaming about. You don't need big fancy builds. You don't need a roof full of like a thousand dollars worth of solar and lithium ion batteries. You don't need it. You need a van, a sleeping bag, <laughs> a stove and a cooler. But home furnishings, you guys, um, I recommend it. If you're gonna start this now and you don't have the money or the means to get access to a shop like this or don't have the craftsmanship tools to do it on your own, I think buying stuff from Ikea or Yisk or whatever the store was I bought mine from is a complete viable option. But in an upcoming video, we're gonna talk about doing big, huge, elaborate builds and how how it's actually not as expensive as you think. So we're probably gonna sit down, we might be talking to Andy or I might just talk to Andy and then um, make a video to you guys about it and just talking about the differences between basic builds and big fancy builds. Um, we're gonna let you guys go because another day, we done. <laughs> okay, we're not done. I just don't wanna make these videos completely way too long. Um, He's in there right now finishing up the front of the fancy panels. They're actually gonna be CNC'd, all the circles you see. Uh, I couldn't even explain it. And even him, when we were sitting down here designing it, he was trying to tell me things. I'm like, I don't see what you see. <laughs> I don't see the finished product in my head like he does. Like he was on the computer doing it all up, designing it, but in his head when he's looking at it, he can see the wood product in that computer screen where I just see screen full of dots. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but anyway, so he's in there doing that. And when that's done, he's going to be setting up the CNC machine. And I think we're going to start cutting those cabinets today. Crazy how far this thing's come along in these last few days. These guys have been working their tushies off. Anyway, you guys, you guys will see that one in tomorrow's video. And if you guys have any questions at all about my cabinets or anything I might not have covered about my cabinets, not the new ones, the old ones. Put them in the comments of this video and I promise you guys I will be in the comments and I'll pull out any good questions there is and I'm gonna try my hardest to take some of the questions that I do see in live streams and videos where I ask you guys um, for tips and advice or anything like that and try to put them in their own video. Um, Cause for me to spend time in the comments, typing all the time gets to be really hard as the channel gets growing, it get, gets bigger, it's harder to pay. Um, all that ten all that attention to them. So um, I will try to make videos about them because if I reply to one person in the comment, it only helps one person. It doesn't help the channel as a whole. So if the questions are good, I will definitely make full videos about them as well in the future. All right, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. Punch that little button right up there, right there. Right. I didn't even know if the end screens are on here. All right, see you later. Just gonna sit here, you guys can watch. See you later.